What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Beretta19 here, back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing alright. Hope everybody is blessed. Hope everybody had an excellent day. Real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you. God cares about you. Cast your cares on Jesus because he loves you. Jesus died so we can live and live life more abundantly. Okay. Make sure we stay motivated out here, you guys. And everything. Life get hard. Life get frustrated. And everything. But it's imperative that we don't give up. Okay. Stay the course and everything. We we will get rewarded at the end. All right. Also, you guys and everything. If you lost a loved one, please understand some they're in a better place. They're in the hands of Jesus. They're in heaven. Okay. And if you maintain the faith and obedience, one day you will see them. You um, keep the drive alive and keep the dream alive. Never give up on your dream, you guys. I don't care who walk away from you, who give up on you, or who tell you that you can't do it. As long as you believe in your dream and everything, you will accomplish your accomplish your goals. Okay? Stay motivated out here. Dry those tears, uh, tears up and hold your head up and everything. Better days are coming. Alright? Stay motivated out here. Don't give up. Excuse me. God loves you and God cares about you. All right, keep going, you guys. Keep striving for greatness. In Jesus' name, God got a blessing with your name on it, okay? Good days is coming for you, okay? That blessing that you've been asking God for is coming. Don't give up, you guys. All right, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, if you're first time tuning in to my channel, please understand some. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you, raw, Unedited and uncut. Okay? This ain't nothing nobody gave me uh, to tell you. This ain't nothing written down on paper. This ain't something I'm acting on paper. This is coming straight from my heart to you guys. Okay? Also, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I'm not here to point the finger at you. I ain't here to make fun of you. But, right. excuse me. Uh, also, and everything, I have no heaven and hell to put you in. But I am here to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. Once you know better, you should do better. Alright? Somebody said something negative to you about my channel. Please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for negative. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on somewhere. We about real shit on this channel, not bullshit. Okay? You, <clears throat> excuse me. If you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear real shit, you're on the right channel. All right, you guys, topic of conversation is today and everything. I try my best not to be too long. The topic of conversation is today, you guys, it is called, Why is your hands in the trash can? I repeat, why is your hands in the trash can? You guys, let me tell you something. You listen to me very, very well and everything. My mom, my, my mother often told me and everything when I was younger. She still tell me to this day, you mess with trash, you get in your eyes. Okay? When you mess, when you find out that somebody is no good and they have no intentions on changing everything, and everything, you don't need them in your life. Okay? Some of you guys been digging around in the trash for a long time and you wonder why you end up getting stuff in your eye and you wonder why you end up getting stuff all over you. And if they, anybody know anything, whoever got trash dumped on them or had to put their hands in the trash because they dropped their phone in the garbage can or whatever. It's a very nasty and gross experience. Okay? Lord knows I didn't drop my phone or a wallet or something and everything. But it's a gross experience. Remember, when you dig your hand in trash and everything, expect something bad to happen or something nasty to happen. That's why you want to make sure and everything that you do be cognizant of what you're doing. Okay? Because if you keep messing with trash, you keep putting your hands in trash and everything, you're going to pull out something you don't want to have. That goes with a job, and that goes with a person, okay? You can't be dating trash, okay? And when I say trash, I don't mean them as a human being. I mean them just uh, strictly as a, a character of a person, okay? Because no human beings are trash because God created us all equal. But your behavior, your character is what make you trash, okay? Make sure that's understood and everything. But I'm just telling you and everything. Keep your hands out the trash can, you guys. If you don't, if you're tired of dealing with trash all your damn life and everything, that's because you keep digging around there. You keep digging all up in that trash and everything. You wonder why you pulling out maggots and shit and everything. You gonna have that. You gonna have, you gonna pull out stuff and everything that you don't want. 
okay? Leave the trash alone. You wonder why you keep you keep getting your heart broken over and over again, everything, because you keep playing with trash. I don't know why people like to play with trash. Keep your damn hands out the trash can. You wonder why and everything, that your job and everything keep taking advantage of you. You wonder why men keep taking advantage of you. You wonder why women keep playing you and everything, taking advantage of you and everything. It's because you messing with trash. Trash get in your eyes. It causes you to, you know, have temporary blindness. It, it's the trash stinks. Trash is messy. Trash got all kind of negative and nasty uh, things that come with it. If you keep messing with it, you keep playing with it, you're going to get that stuff on your clothes. You're going to get that stuff in your heart. You're going to get that stuff in your eyes, in your ears. But you should be paying attention to warning signs from a woman or a man and everything. You're so busy caught up in everything or what you're messing with, what you're playing with and everything, you don't even know what's going on. So please understand. Please understand that, you guys, and everything. Leave the trash alone. Let the trash men come and take that shit out. Let them come take that away. Anybody know, any adult know, and everything, you miss trash day and everything. Now you got to wait a whole nother damn week before they come out and everything to uh, empty out your trash can. It's a trash can for a reason. If you ever notice and everything, when you do, excuse me, go do the trash and everything, notice how when it, when it pile up, and everything you gotta put it outside and everything there's a reason for that there's a reason why you don't want to keep trash in your house and everything because it attract it attract um mice it attract ants roaches all that shit. so you understand that and everything i'm gonna say that again when you leave trash lingering around okay when you you know leave people around that you know are no good they're going to attract negative stuff to you when god himself is telling you and everything you need to cut this loose you need to put a lid on it and stick it outside and I come get rid of it. But if you keep it in the house, excuse me, and everything, you keep it in the house and everything, and it just keep laying in the bag or laying in the trash uh, bin and everything, what's going to end up happening if it's going to start stinking? Please understand some people's behavior stinks. People's behavior stinks and their attitude stinks. When you find somebody that don't love you, don't care nothing about you and everything, you need to, that's trash. You need to get rid of it. Remember, there's different elements to trash. Stink. It's funky. It's um, well, it's the same thing. It's uh, it reeks. It is like I said, it's messy. And then if you if you ever knock the trash can over, notice how all that trash you gotta clean it right back up. So that's what I'm telling you. Avoid knocking that trash can over. Avoid knocking it over. Take it out before it get full. Because if you keep letting it full and keep getting over uh, we're to a point everything was overflowing and everything. That's when you're going to start having some serious problems in your life. When you keep letting people be around and everything that you know are no good, you know they don't care nothing about you, you know they don't want to do right and everything by you and everything, it's going to end up messing you up. And you're going to be finding yourself miserable. You're going to be finding yourself sad. You're going to find yourself heartbroken, man or woman. Okay? They don't just go for women. They go for men too. Because men get heartbroken and get done wrong too. I'm just telling you and everything. Keep your hands out the trash can. When you keep messing with trash and that shit don't get in your eyes. You keep messing with the trash and everything. In some cases, you might get a disease. And remember, and I'm just telling you. You got fungus. You got all kind of stuff in the trash can. You got, like I said, maggots. You got all kind of stuff up in there. You keep messing with that something. You're going to mess around and get a disease. A sickness. You keep messing with the wrong people and everything. You're going to mess around and get a disease. A heart disease. High blood pressure. STD, anything. You gotta be, you gotta, I'm telling you, you got to be careful. Quit messing with shit that you know that you need to cut loose, that you need to put a lid on. Okay? Once you put a lid on top and everything, that means can't nothing else come in and can't nothing else come out. I'm sitting that shit outside. Translation, when you find somebody that's keep disrupting your life, that's keeping chaos and everything, get rid of their ass. Or you get away from around them. You, again, you keep letting that shit overflow and everything. You're going to be finding yourself taking pills. And you're going to find yourself feeling older than what you already are. Because you're stressed out. You're stressed out. Quit messing with trash, people. Quit messing with trash. It get in your eyes. It get in your ears. It, get, it, 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 it contaminates your happiness. It contaminates your spirit. Get rid of the bullshit. Okay? Put a lid on that shit and stick it outside. And you make damn sure and everything that it's right on time where God can pick it up and toss it back in that damn garbage truck. 
and then you got a fresh empty can. Now you got a fresh time to start over. But remember, if you keep letting that trash build up, if you don't put that lid on there and everything, expect to get mice, expect to get roaches, expect to get ants, expect that your house be smelling bad. So I'm just telling you, trash attracts the wrong people. Trash attract the wrong kind of elements. You leave with somebody around you and everything they don't want to change. They ain't trying to be right. You leave with somebody around you, hanging around with somebody and everything that's, you know, want to live their life all crazy and live their life all wrong and everything. You are who you hang with. You hang with trash, you're going to become trash. And you're going to find yourself in back of that damn compactor of the damn garbage truck getting taken away. And let me, let me translate it for you and everything. You're going to find your ass in back of a patrol car getting taken away. Or in worse, in back of a hearse and getting taken away because you keep messing with trash. Leave that shit alone. I don't care how beautiful she is and everything. If she got a messed up ass heart and everything, she's still trash. How many times are you going to keep screwing trash? How many times are you going to keep having a baby by trash? How many times are you going to keep applying the trash? And you wonder why the shit don't work. I keep telling you, choice is yours, man. Choice is yours, woman. God got nothing but great stuff for you. He got nothing but great stuff for you. But if you keep choosing trash over what God has for you and everything, that ain't God's fault. That's your fault. Okay? Another thing about a trash can and everything that you got to understand, when a trash can does get to the top and everything, if you don't catch it in time and everything, you won't be able to put a lid on it. You can squish it down, do all that you want to and everything. You won't be able to put a lid on it. It's not in an overflow. Translation. If you keep letting shit bottle up inside you and you don't, you know, get rid of the stress, you'll get rid of the problems and everything, it's going to overflow. And like I said, you're going to find yourself in a hospital. You're going to find yourself taking medicine and everything way before you should be taking medicine. I'm just, I'm just letting you know and everything. Quit messing with trash, y'all. Trash get in your eyes, okay? It's a lot of trash out here. It's a lot of tr trash people talking all crazy stuff out here. Don't be fooled. You don't want no trash in your life. And if you if you experience enough and you got enough sense and everything and wisdom enough and everything, you know what happens when you mess with trash and everything. It ruins your happiness. It ruins your family. Doing drugs and drinking is ruin is trash. And it ruins so many people's lives. Hanging out in the corner and everything is trash. It's ruining your life. Not caring about somebody other, excuse me, not caring about, caring about nobody and everything other than just yourself and everything is trash. You got a trashy heart. You can come on, you Christian, all you want to and everything. You got a trashy heart, a trashy attitude. And you wonder why nobody don't want, don't want to be with you. Yeah, you're cute. Yeah, you got a cute smile and everything, but what good is it? What good? I mean, what good does it does me as a man? I'm sitting here looking at pretty trash. What good is it does you as a woman? Then you sitting there looking at handsome trash. Let's get shit right, y'all. Let's get shit right. I tell you something else and everything. Trash get in your pockets. And get in your pockets. You spending money on people and everything. They don't even care nothing about you. They only want they want you to spend money on them in order to uh you know to, uh, to make them think that you love them. Or if you don't spend no money on me, you don't love me. If you don't take me shopping, you don't love me. Sound familiar? Trash get in your pockets. Trash get in your mind. You'll find yourself ignoring and pushing people away who are trying to warn you of the trash you messing with. Because your mind is is messed up, it's corroded. So I'm just telling you and everything, leave the trash alone, people. That goes for trash men and trash women. Leave them alone. Everybody, again, ain't raised right. Everybody ain't raised to be a mother or a wife or a husband or a dad. Everybody ain't raised that way. I'm just telling you, if you lay down with trash and everything, you're going to get that shit on you. Mess around and get, uh, get a damn disease. You go to sleep with trash and everything, you're gonna, you're gonna wake up smelling like trash. You drive the rope or, or to work with trash and everything, you're gonna be uh, dealing with trash all the way on the, uh, on the ride. And if you work with trash and everything, how you expect to be happy? 
Remember, if your wife or your husband or your family or your so-called friends are treating you like trash and everything, that's, that's because they don't give a damn about you. Put a lid on that shit and get rid of it. Get rid of it before that shit overflow. And you get your heart broken. You come in and catch them with another man or another woman. Learn to catch trash before it overflows. And when you put a lid on it and everything, do me a favor, don't bring it back in the house. Wait till God uh, pick that trash can up and dump that damn shit back in the damn trash truck the way it's supposed to be. That way when, he, when, he, when God put it back down, you got a fresh one to go with. It's like, it's like shooting the gun. After you empty out one clip, you got to drop that mag and put a fresh mag in. So I'm just telling you, let's get shit right, you guys. Stop messing with trash, both men and women. Stop messing with trash. Let's so get in your eyes and then mess your life up. This is Beretta 19. I love y'all. Y'all take care. The choice is yours. If you tired of dealing, if you sick of dealing with trashy people, you sick of people treating you like trash, put a lid on it, get rid of their ass. Let the Lord come pick them up and everything, dump that sh and dump their ass away so you can live a happy life. And once that trash can is empty, you got a fresh beginning. Take care. Be blessed.